Hello folks, today's video is for Ariana Grande and her year ahead video. I don't know what's going on with Ariana, but we're about to find out. Let's just see if I can get you so you can see all of the cards. Here we go. Um, in her first house, we have memories, so she feels, she may feel like she's a thing of the past or that the past is coming into play. Um, she's sentimental. She has the Six of Pentacles, which lets me know that she feels balanced in 2024. She also feels that she's a very charitable a charitable person, <laughs> and she's hanging in there. It will get better soon. So she, whatever, whatever is going on with her, she has faith that things will get better soon, and it could have something to do with the past, okay, and bringing that into balance. Uh, I did pull like a couple of extra cards on a few houses on, her, you know, her friends and family house and her relationship house and her ego. So let's just move along into her career, career and finances. Well, there's something very exciting brewing for her. It could be a lover on set or somebody that she is, you know, uh, she may fall in love again with somebody on set. That's what I'm just going to say. So maybe it's somebody that she collabs with. Um, she's excited about a project and it may come in around the month of May. Um, and there's a decision. There's actually two projects um, right now. And in her future finances, this also lets me know that she has balance in her finances being a six and and a two so her her financially she's good folks she's good she's balancing things out and she's managing a couple of projects in the future that are hidden so she's not going to be talking about these um right away and she's not going to do a lot of it's kind of like she's just going to manage things quite well but there are two more projects coming up in the in the future of 2024 that she'll be, you know, managing it, two projects at one time, right? And this could be hidden. It could also be um, secret for for now. All right. What she's talking about are the choices that she's made in life. So she'll be communicating about the choices and the secrets that she's um, keeps that she's kept, right? Uh, Revealing some of the things, some of the choices that she made um, in life. And what does that do for her? Um, what she brings into her reality is she's letting go of some messages, right? So this is letting me know that she's she's walking away from something. She gets the message, right? Like she's getting the point. Um, and somebody may be encouraging her to walk away from something. It could be work related. It could be relationship related. Who knows? It's undercover right now. Um, it will like she's going to start talking, exposing some of her choices um, that she's made. Uh, I understand that she made a pretty difficult choice to walk away from a marriage, and if somebody else walked away from theirs at the same time. That seems to be the person that she now resides with. Um, I'm not sure if that is true or correct or anything like that. Um, I don't even know if they're still together, to be honest. In her home life, we have the Queen of Wands. So she's very passionate about her home life. And she's she may, this is the key. She's having a realization about like where she wants to live, where she wants to go. She's very um, work-oriented uh, and driven within her. Like she finds like drive and motivation in her residence. Uh, and she may be offered to, she may be, she may be moving as well since there is a keyhole here i'm going to say that that's you know a new home on the horizon for her she so she may be moving in it will be a quick move it it should be like call and ask quite quickly um with that queen of wands energy she also likes a lot of like loud colors she likes um within her atmosphere at home she likes a lot of uh, art and, and things like that. She's also social. She likes to be the one in charge. She is uh, the boss, basically, of her household. But she may she may be purchasing a new home in 2024. 
it looks like there's a possibility there. Now, in her fifth house of the SX Entertainment and Luck, um, she's holding on to her coins. She's not taking any risks as far as her finances are concerned. But there is a family reunion, which is letting me know that there's a reunion um, that she may be getting together with somebody from her past, right? She's also very comfortable with this person, and it's somebody that she hasn't quite let go of yet. So don't be surprised if you see her reuniting with someone from her past and they may collab together, right? Because this is fun and she makes her very excited, <laughs> this project with this person. And she'll have to make a decision between um, this person and this person in her relationship house, which is toxic, okay? The, we have toxicity and we have the wheel of fortune so something's going to change it could have been the timing is off but it's like it's unhealthy so she's going to change that so it looks like the relationship's going to be out the door sweet surprise good things are happening so surprise surprise I feel like this other person, a reunion from her past is someone that she's actually going to get into a relationship with again in the in 2024 According to this reading, anyway. Remember, folks, this is all baloney. Um, not based in facts at all. Not what it seems. This is this is um, what she doesn't see coming. Right? This is the shadow here. And it is like that somebody's not going to give up. And they are they are the, the carrying that devil energy just like this toxic. It's this toxic person. It's the person that she's probably with right now. Um, we'll see how her 2024 um, plays out. But they're not what they seem, right? You thought it was great. You thought it was good. But this person ain't going away. They're unhealthy. They're they probably very much obsessed with her. And they're resilient. They're not giving up. They're going to keep coming back and knocking on that door. I feel like she may be giving them the boots or just moving, you know, moving herself out of if they are living together. I feel like she's going to move. And because like... Sweet things are going to be transpiring for her. There is a surprise and it's a wheel of fortune. Somebody changed. Somebody flipped the script. Like it's not what the, what it seems, right? So they were putting on a false front in the beginning. It was all good. And then it turns unhealthy. And, uh, you know, it's time. Time for a big change. Uh, and she's going to get it together because she's hanging in there, right? It'll get better soon. She's going to make sure that it gets better soon. And she is walking away. Right. She gets the point. She gets the message. She's she's like, you don't have to keep harping on me about this one. I'm out of here. Um, it, how people view her is as a temptress. Right. That she's tempting. Um, she they may see her view her as like lacking confidence and just, you know, a lack in confidence and that she you know tempts people because it's an insecurity so the the her social standing is that she's insecure and that she comes from a place of lack um wow i didn't see that now as far as her friend's house we have a third party situation somebody's interfering right and this is like seven of wands somebody's very defensive so she may be standing her ground against a third party situation uh, with a friend this could be somebody that she had like this person down here where she's on the defense and her friends are defending her right and okay so she's gaining momentum or a friend is gaining momentum and it they may be inter interfering and i don't mean that in a negative way what i mean is like they're 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 interfering in whatever this unhealthy situation is down here with a relationship this is just what i'm feeling with this reading so i feel like her friends are going to step in and um help her get out of this situation that she's walking away from right and they have to they have they're defending her because somebody in her in is gaining momentum and she's going to gain momentum as she begins to walk away but she's going to defend herself and this is like that third party situation that's going to uh, there's somebody that she has to defend herself against and her friends are actually doing it for her they're defending her um you know and helping her to motivate her in the right direction and the shift is changing like there is a shift in the direction as far as her enemies 
well, she's got some loyal enemies, right? <laughs> um, we have loyalty and they're taking a break. They're, they're giving it a rest. All right. They may, she may even dream about these people. They could, they could fall under earth. I'm just saying it doesn't really matter. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it, it's like they're very loyal to hating on her, right? But they're giving it a break. And, and that seems to be the consensus for many celebrities uh, in this pop culture of this age group, like the Taylor Swift and um, Selena Gomez. Uh, same same thing where like the, the enemies, they may be loyal and true, but they're, you know, they're tired. <laughs> they're tired of coming at her and they're taking a break. So... That's what I have for Ariana Grande coming up in 2024. Please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and leave your, quest your requests in the comments below. Bye!